the earth family welcome to another garden video update it's been about two and a half weeks since my last update and uh, we've had some again I, I think in the last three videos I've reported great weather so again we have had great weather although today it's breezy and it seems to usually be breezy during my videos so i am gonna have to figure out how to buffer that i do have the equipment but i haven't figured out how to use the equipment yet i have been busy out here making it look amazing uh, oh you hear that that is a hummingbird oh there they go so that's one thing that i've noticed as soon as i put out the uh, feeder that i have over there and I'll, I'll go by and show you it's just a very simple little feeder i got it i think at walmart for 99 cents and as soon as i put it out with sugar water and it's just one cup of sugar to four cups of water and you boil it and then you let it cool and you stick it in there uh as soon as i put it out like within 10 minutes i saw my first um hummingbird and they've been back ever since and they're having a ball um and i put one out front although the one i have out front is a little bit fancier than this one but you can see how i have it set up here with my chair so they will come and they'll take a drink there even with me sitting there in either one oh there you go look oh my god this it's just so cool Okay, wow, I just love that. I'm never gonna get bored of that, never, never. And I'm never gonna get bored of watching this stuff grow. And I'm happy to share it on my channel because um, I just hope to inspire people to do the same thing to their backyard, make it a space that you wanna be in. Very inviting, relaxing, inspiring. My daughter was out here the other day in her bathing suit, getting some sun for um, for the for her dress for the prom, and she um, she was doing some artwork because she was very inspired by everything. So I'm trying to record this video in high definition, although they don't seem to upload in high def. So I'm not sure if if you have the option to view things in standard definition or high definition. But I'm gonna to try to keep this one short because I'm creating it in the highest definition that my, uh, this is just recorded on my iPhone. So the highest definition that my iPhone will record so that you can really get a sense of the beauty out here. So I'll start at the gate and we have our um, rhododendron that's just beginning to bloom. Now I've had trouble with this. Um, looks like it's doing a little better, but it needed some nutrients and I've, I've fed the soil, did some research, we got some better stuff. So hopefully it'll make a comeback, but I don't think it gets enough sun right here. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing when I first planted this. This was the very first thing I planted here and I didn't know what I was doing, but uh, it, it's still growing and it looks beautiful. And uh, when all of those um, begin to open, you can see it will be gorgeous. And we got some phlox down there next to lemon balm. And everything is growing in really, really nice, really well. Um, and I think in a large part due to the amount of water that I'm giving them, I water everything pretty much every day. Um, especially when I know it's a little bit warmer than it should be this time of year for these plants and they have enjoyed all the water that I've given them and the nutrients as well because everything looks amazing. Here we have evening primrose next to it, um, valerian that is getting ready to get its flower. And I put these here because both of these are gonna get nice and tall. And then behind it is going to grow uh, morning glories and I've got peas and the different things that I put in here and then this also will get tall it'll get beautiful flowers so um, it'll give me some privacy to sit here 
and then next to me i'll have some beautiful things to look at behind me i'm still not done taking out everything back here and getting it ready for the year because back here i have all my castor plants that i'm going to plant but i have a lot of stuff coming back that i need to relocate like all of this evening primrose here but we have columbine this columbine is different than this one a different variety and that's getting ready to bloom and i've got butterfly weed right there getting ready to bloom and then we've got some rogue um well we've got rogue everything back here we've got foxglove there and i noticed uh right here this is the passion flower that reseeds itself everywhere so we've got it growing there so i've in the past i've tried to repot that um and i haven't had success but i'm going to keep trying because if you look back at my previous videos and you see how that has grown in it's a beautiful plant and it does grow in this yard in abundance um, just like the foxglove prolifically recedes itself i haven't finished cleaning out this side yet but i have i had a foxglove over well probably one of these foxgloves possibly or one that didn't come back but you can see all these little seeds here um not only are they foxglove little baby foxgloves but also little baby lemon bombs so um i have a couple of people who have requested some lemon bomb plants from me so i'll be potting them up and i you can see here i have all this growth here and then i also have an abundance of mint and i'm going to be uh, potting that up as well to give away because i have like i said um, a bunch of people who have requested it so if you are someone who wants to trade plants or come and see this um, I'm, I'm creating a library of plants that grow in this area and I'm doing a ton of research so I'm creating a knowledge base and a library of flowers vegetables plants so if you want to come here and bring a notepad bring your questions and I'll give you a tour and Bring some plants or seeds if you want to trade. I have lots of things to trade, like, like this beautiful cat mint, as well as the yarrow. And what else? Valerian. I always have valerian because it prolifically receives itself. Same thing with chamomile. And they close down uh, at the when the sun goes down and they're just beginning to lift their flowers to open up a little bit better but they are right at the harvesting stage so i'll be harvesting them and drying them out very soon actually today is going to be a harvest day and i have to finish with that area over there but you can see here finally finished digging out all the rocks from this area and then i planted the things that are going into this bed which are eggplant and a bunch of varieties of tomatoes and peppers and then uh, that's basil on the end there and then you can see in this bed all the growth now look at that amazing growth since the last video we've got our collard greens in the front we've got garlic we've got kohlrabi right there and the turnips now i haven't thinned them out yet again i don't like to thin my stuff but i do eat them as i thin so i'll be picking some of them out just to eat whatever little kind of thing because they're pretty much good at any stage um, and then the same thing over here with the, the beets and in between we've got lettuce so i'm going to be harvesting some of that lettuce so if you come here i have a lot of lettuce a lot of greens a lot of different kind of greens like this uh, joy joy that seems to be a very good variety to grow in the spring and i got that at one of my favorite gardening centers which if you're in the area either dambly's or bloomers i love them um, i've been able to fill in a lot of areas with things um, because i just didn't have time to start the seeds this year like i have started in the past and i've able to I've been able to get everything that I, I want from either of those two places. 
and everything that I get there seems to be very healthy and grows well, like the kohlrabi. Now, I tried to grow that myself from seed, but I bought these from one of the gardening centers, and they're doing very well here. So I'm very happy about that. Same thing with the choy. I've had to, I, I've grown choy myself here from seed, and I haven't had any luck with it um, not going to seed too quickly. It'll sprout and flower almost immediately, and that's kind of annoying. Now this version, it's just absolutely amazing. The leaves are really thick and delicious and healthy. Um, we love that. So you can see all the greens here are growing in really, really nice. And my Dianthus, I can't wait. Now, if you look here, you've got some buds. This is, this is right on the cusp of blooming. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see all these. Same thing with this. Now this one's interesting because this one, I didn't know it was going to do this. It didn't bloom last year. These are a biennial perennial, whereas they'll just grow and get green in the first year and then they'll bloom in the second year. So this one is very unique. Um, they're all different colors on, on these, um, these blooms. So that's very exciting. This is another variety of Dianthus or Sweet William. I think they're one and the same. I think it's called Rainbow Loveliness. And that will be blooming very soon. You can see here the Valerian getting ready to bloom. And that'll get even taller than that. These get to be taller than me. They get to be about six feet tall, maybe even more. We've got Yarrow. Now this will be Yellow Yarrow and this one is just beginning to get its yellow color. And I love to save this for dried flowers. Makes beautiful dried flower. Here we've got the bee balm, and I cannot wait for this one. This attracts so many different insects, pollinator insects, everything. It's always a buzz with, with life, and um, it's a beautiful flower. And it's expanded itself quite a bit. Now last year I I uh, cut a lot of it back and I potted it and it's all over. It's, I, I've got it all over the place. Um, but this year I let it expand a little bit more than I normally do um, just because I love it so much. So we'll see. I might need to be chopping down a lot of that if it gets to be way too big because it is starting to crowd in. Some of the other things that I have here, like that's Gloriosa Daisy, Rudabecchia. We've got... Um, St. John's wort getting ready to get its beautiful yellow flowers. Next to it is Lovage. We've got Rue here. There's Hyssop. Arnica coming back. That's Lemon Eucalyptus and I have that there as well as the Lemon Balm, although the Lemon Balm is highly medicinal. But these help to keep uh, the insect pests down that I don't want here. Um, both of them are really good pest deterrents. And then that's um, just some purple Brussels sprouts that I have growing in there. Just They'll get nice and tall. It'll just be a beautiful plant. Got some more Dianthus there. Snow in summer right there. Now, that was just one plant that I had over at the other end of the garden that I've split up and I, I have it everywhere now. You'll see it everywhere. Even over here, this I transplanted this last year, and it really likes this location. It took off. I got a bunch of different things here now. I just planted this valerian here. Next to it, we got a castor doing very well. Marigold, we've got so many different things here. Chamomile, those are called pinks. I transplanted them as well from another area of the yard and they they grow very well very easy to take um, take pieces of that and move it around I have many things like that that are very easy to split up like the uh, alyssum over there I split that up put that here but that's not even the original location of it it came from uh, a different spot in the garden so here is the strawberry bed and boy are we excited about this let's see if I come over here I can show you 
There's just so many strawberries. So many. So many. And there's a couple of different varieties here. So we get we get different sizes, different flavors, some sweeter than others. Um, so it's really nice. And back there is my beautiful peony. Now the one that bloomed yesterday. Looks like it's on the ground. I'm gonna cut that. Actually, I'm gonna cut all of them. Put them in a vase into the house because they're beautiful. So here's an update on the main bed. We got a lot of the seeds coming in that I put in the ground, like the okra and the artichokes behind there. Our asparagus went to, um, to flower, but that's okay because we ate some of it and it was amazing. And over here, let me show you, look at this. Look at that. That is purple broccoli. I'm so excited. That whole row there, that'll be purple broccoli. And then this is green broccoli. And my tomatoes. Doing real good. Swiss chard. More tomatoes, more broccoli. And cauliflower. And beans. But now the beans, I have some rabbits eating these beans. So I need to replant some more where there's blank spots here. Put some more seeds in the ground. But these beans are doing really good. And I have one more section left. Well, actually, this is a tomato plant that was right here that uh, reseeded all these tomatoes. Now, I've already repotted some of them. And I really hate to take these out uh, because that's so many tomatoes. Uh, but I have to get some more things in the ground. I got peanuts here. They're not really doing that great. I put them in the ground probably sooner than they were ready to be put in the ground. It was a little cold. We've had some strange cold nights with very, very, very warm days. So they are confused. This I left in here because I don't know what it is. And I wanted to wait until it flowered so I could figure it out. I have no idea what that is. Same thing with this. I don't know if it's something that I planted here. At first I thought it was some kind of sage and the leaves are... Well, actually, it, it kind of looks like a plantain. Um, some of it looks like a plantain. It might be two different plants here. I have no idea. And then there's another unidentified plant. And I'm, I'm just waiting. I, I'll probably, I'm sure I'll take those out. But I just wanted to wait to see what this looks like when they bloom. And then here's my oregano. And I have oregano. There's more oregano. This is a really good variety of oregano and then something else that I have to share in abundance. Um, same thing with the chamomile. Here's my chamomile farm, I call it, uh, where I had my original plant and it reseeded and then I just take them from here when I need to move them around the yard like there's another one there. And here's all the, the beans and the corn growing in real good. That's broccoli rob that's flowering but we still eat it still good over here i'm getting ready to harvest whoa that was another hummingbird right next to me all right i'm getting ready to harvest a lot of this because i have to make room for the next round of crops that i have and um i'll be just ha probably harvesting the whole thing and i i have a ton of it so if you do come for a visit i will share and over here, so excited. These are gonna be blackberries. We planted them last year, and of course we didn't get any blackberries last year. So this will be our first year. And then um, I have to show you this because that's another um, variety of columbine. And it is absolutely beautiful. I think it's called a double. Uh, although I'm sure it has a specific name and I forget what it is. I'll have to look up what it is that I planted there, but it's just really beautiful. And over here I have, that that's the elderberry bush that I wanted to put here. And we got an update on this over here. Oh, well, there's the peas. Look at the peas. I already ate one. It was a little early to be eating the peas, but, um, oh, sorry, I'm coming around here. But they, it was still really good. And I think there's getting to be 
quite a few. Wow, look at that. They're doing really good here. And then in the in there, I have all my radishes that I've been eating. And they're good to eat at any stage. So I thin them out as I eat them. And you can eat them either raw or cooked. They're very good. Let's see, should we go this way through the garden path? So you can sit here and eat your way around here. And then this side, well over here, we've got our blueberries. That one's doing really well. These two don't have a lot of blueberries on them yet, but the other ones that I have do, so we're anticipating them. Very excited for that. That's my big fennel. So today is fennel harvest day, as well as parsley. I noticed I have a lot of parsley that needs to be harvested. And oregano. So that's one of my tasks for today. And then here we got our row of stuff that's doing real good. There's blueberries that are growing in a lot. Ooh, looks like we got one already that's changed color. Look at that. And then we got more peas, more fennel, more valerian. And over here, this is a beautiful oregano plant. I gotta harvest some more of that before it flowers. It's getting ready to flower. Here we got canterbury bells. This is beautiful. I can't wait until that blooms. Uh, let's see what else I think I went all the way around and of course my video is way too long I have to figure out something to do with this because YouTube may not let me upload a video this long and my yeah it's gonna take up a lot of space all right well I hope this video inspires you all to get out and get your hands dirty in the garden until the next video I will see you then bye